was just passing through Connecticut. But during this brief trip in 1775, George Washington wined and dined in Wethersfield. And a new tour at Webb Dean Stevens Museum digs deeper into that meal. Silas Dean was away from home in Philadelphia, but told his friend, General George Washington, to stop at his house on the way to Boston. His wife, Elizabeth Dean, was prepared for Washington's arrival with an array of foods, all seasonal and local. Elizabeth knew it was going to be sometime during the last week of June. So she had to plan her menu based on things that were available in and around Weathersfield. It's a tour for foodies and history buffs alike. So much research and preparation went into recreating what this dinner with George Washington could have looked like. The chicken, the fish, a salad, the early lettuce and radishes. This is a treat to have Washington share in their bounty. We know that Silas Dean had a big vegetable garden. Those fresh vegetables were a way to showcase Connecticut's finest foods, but don't forget dessert. Sugar was one way to display wealth, so treats like pound cake and cherry tarts were likely served. I mean, this was probably something of a big deal for her, and uh, I have no doubt that she did it very well. The tour shows off how the wealthiest of early New Englanders would have dined, but also gives a peek at a more typical family of the era, like the Stevens family, two doors down. Always on display in the kitchen of the Stevens is a family heirloom, which is an 1836 cookbook and we have it open to ginger snaps. And so that is one recipe we are giving out to visitors. See the dinner with George Washington digging deeper tour for yourself at Webb Dean Stevens Museum on Saturday. In Weathersfield, Susie Hunter, News 8.